Diary. Hello, it is September 2019 and I'm here to give a fairly positive review to the Salomon Agile 2 lightweight racing backpack. Now this is a 2 litre backpack and you're seeing the sort of inside of it uh, in front of you. Now um, why is it only mostly positive? Um, I think it's conditionally positive on the sense that if you want a backpack at the price that I paid for it, which is about £40, including the uh, water bottles, then it represents excellent value, but there are one or two compromises you're going to need to know about. And so uh, we're going to first of all step back and um, think about trail running rucksacks or rucksacks that you use whilst, whilst you're running. So for longer distance trail competitions, I've got an ultimate direction rucksack. Into, which has got many many pockets and zips um, it's made out of this wonderfully soft yet strong uh, material and uh, it, this this rucksack which is, is not shown in front of you um, cost over a hundred pounds um, and it can 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 cope with a lot it can it can carry a lot of things it must have at least 10 pockets so this on the other hand is a sort of ultra minimalist rucksack it sits very high. This distance from here to here is very short. It sits from your shoulders down. Um, and because it's so small, it's got a number of advantages, but it doesn't have any uh, real pockets that you can zip, zip closed. And the storage facilities are very small. So, why did I get it? Well, the Ultimate Direction Rucksack is good for ultramarathons of, let's say, up to 200 kilometres, or, or we've certainly used it for 160 plus kilometres. And... This is going to be a rucksack which we want to put on for shorter trail races. So we used it on Saturday, yesterday, only yesterday, to do a marathon distance a trail run uh, in Elster, near Ulster where we live. Um, and it was, it was okay. Um, and it was more than okay. It did the job. But I've had to make a few modifications and, and let's, let's, go, let's, let's finally go ahead and, and show you the rucksack. So this is the inside of the rucksack. You can see it's made out of some meshy material which does breathe quite well. However, it's not the super smooth, luxurious feel Salomon rucksack material that they make the higher priced rucksacks out of. So it's, kind of, it's made out of a, a cheaper material, not that lovely, very fine mesh material that you see on the 80 or 90 pound, um, using UK prices, rucksacks that Salomon also sells. So on the front, you've got these two pockets. Okay, so it actually comes with two of these bottles here. Now these are 500 milliliter bottles and it comes with two of them and they're, they're quite pricey on their own so for the price I paid, which I remind you is about 40, 40 pounds, 40 GBP, um, it represents excellent value. These bottles on their own I've seen going for something like 10 or 15 pounds. So theoretically speaking you can fit a bottle in either side. These, it's basically a symmetric design. These, these short pockets are the same and there's a long pocket here. And in the long pocket you can fit this 500 milliliter uh, flask. And the idea of this small rucksack is there's, there's no space on the back for, for anything much, certainly not a bladder. And the idea is that you'll carry, in this case, up to one litre of fluid on your front. Um, and I found out for me that just doesn't work at all. Um, and to explain why is the following. This bottle is, is kept in with this uh, little elasticated mesh here. And I found out that basically when anything is in this pocket, it's impossible to get this bottle in and out. Um, and when there's nothing in this pocket, it's almost impossible to get stuff in and out. So what I've settled on doing is, is for me, having this as a 500 milliliter water rucksack, with the 500 milliliter bottle for me, it's on the left, uh, a bar that I'm going to eat before I start the run, um, and then during the during the run, this is going to be for things like sweetie wrappers and uh, wrappers of food that I've I've actually consumed. And on the right hand side, there is the space for wait for this is going to be like the kind of magic trick. There's the, I'll I'll take all the stuff out afterwards, and you can see how much it can actually carry. A phone. I've got uh, a set of glucose here and two SIS gels. So a decent amount there on the back. There's a single pocket. It's a single sort of stretchy pocket. It's got a um, a key a, a key facility, so you can you can put some keys on a, on a tag 
There's no, these aren't zip, this is just a stretchy pocket. And in this pocket I've got a waterproof um, and two food bars. So that's a decent amount and indeed for the uh, a marathon trail, trail um, event I think that would be enough. Um, this relies on, so my 500 millilitres of water relies on me not drinking that much and I don't drink that much and it also relies on there being stops um, I would say less than 15 kilometres distant. So yesterday we had stops every let's say about 10 kilometres and so this uh, single the single uh, 500 millilitres was actually w w easily big enough. So I think this, use, this rucksack is now usable only with one water, water uh, flask inside. That gives me 500 millilitres and for me that gives me at least a 15 kilometre range um, if I'm being frugal and it's not a super honey, sunny day, it never is in England. Um, so that's it really. It, it's, it's, a, it's a rucksack that didn't quite live up to expectations because if I fitted two water bottles on the rucksack, there's too much weight on the front and the, and the damn thing sort of jigs up and down a lot. So I didn't find the rucksack usable. So what I've had to do instead is um, put one water bottle in and fill this with other things other than water. Um, and I would say, by the way, that if you did fill this with two water bottles again, you, you know, you, if you put your phone at the back um, here, the problem is that you can't get your phone out. And I'm always needing to get my phone out to take photographs or, or do things like that. So for me, I need a front pocket and it provided the, you know, the excuse to, to, to set it up like it is. So let's just take all the stuff out and see what, what is in this very, very small package. So here's the, there's that water, there's a flat jack, two SIS gels, set of glucose which I put into my water when I get to water stock. I've got a phone in a literally a doggy bag. I've got two fifth bars. Oh, a waterproof jacket. And actually, uh, a warm hat and gloves. So, oh, and I've got my Aeropex headphones as well, um, but they'll be on my head. So it's quite a decent amount of storage, really. Um, but again, it relies on you only using this one flask. So it kind of depends on your water consumption. But for forty pounds, I think it's worth it. It's not made of this lovely soft material that other salmon rucksacks are made out of. Um, it's, this is the lovely soft material on the outside, but on the inside, it's this. It's, it's kind of coarser. But it does. Uh, provide just enough storage to, to, to carry all of this gear which like I say is good enough for uh, let's say an ultra marathon uh, say up to about 60 70 kilometers as long as the water stops are good enough so yeah it's a conditional thumbs up 40 pounds from many different suppliers it's a Salomon agile two set racing backpack and this is the two liter one other sizes are available. Okay, thanks for watching, Diary.